Hi, I'm Tamara from Sussex Wildlife Trust and this week at Nature Tots we were going to be learning about slugs and snails, so I'm going to bring this to you from home. This is my snail racing track. Uh, I've made it from a, a laminated poster, but you could make one um, on an old plastic bag or even a damp tablecloth would do. We may well have another world first today. Our runners and riders consist of five snails and an unprecedented late entry by a slug. Slugs are basically a snail without a shell. They have a bad reputation, but they're pretty special. Super skills include being able to stretch to 20 times their normal length to squeeze through small gaps. They leave their own special slime scent trail so they can find their way home. And they have green blood. Meanwhile, the race has begun. Slug is quick out of the starting gates. He's not carrying his home on his back and he's speeding ahead, making a beeline for a tasty spinach leaf. Slugs and snails mainly use their tentacles to smell food and feel their way around. No point cheering them on though, because they can't hear a thing. They have very poor eyesight, but they do have eyes which you might be able to see at the end of their upper tentacles or eye stalks. And we are back on the track. Looks like the smaller snails are finally putting their heads in the game. Common garden snails have a top speed of 45 metres per hour, making the snail one of the slowest creatures on earth. Slug is romping home ahead of the game. Yes, I think we have a clear winner here. Slug is saluting the judge and crossing the finish line as we speak. It's a closely fought contest for second place by the snails, although it looks like some of the big ones are staying at home. Because of their moist skin, snails are most active in damp weather and at night. If the weather gets too dry, they'll hide inside their shell and seal up the entrance. They can survive several months without water and some snails have been known to live up to 15 years. Imagine having 14,000 microscopic teeth. Snails are often regarded as pests by gardeners as they eat leaves and stems of crops. However, they should be respected. They're an important part of the web of life. They eat decomposing material and provide food for all sorts of mammals like hedgehogs. It's a tasty snack for a song thrush or a slow worm. Now, have you noticed there's foul play afoot on the racetrack? The snail on the left has turned this into a wrestling match. He's side slammed the one on the right, trying to drive him off course. And then when that doesn't stop him, he tries to throw himself in front of the other contender, just before the line. However, the winning snail just keeps on going tossing the loser aside in his bid for victory. Now that has got to be the most excitement I've had all day. Why don't you give snail racing a go? Mm -hmm.